And the recording is a go. Now it looks a little red, if I'm being honest. One second. There, that looks better. Sometimes I'm lazy when I'm trying to not be lazy. I am lazy always. My power is out. Oh my god. I'm sorry to hear that. But also, we're starting off by skipping to level 30 because we've already spent our half an hour. Ooh. Hmm. I think I'm gonna turn down it entities off for a second. Oops. There, that's what we're going to set with. This game is called Enter the Back Rooms, right? Correct. Entity's back on. This is Enter the Back Rooms. It is like the Back Rooms game. And I've had a lot of fun with it so far. But you can't use these chairs to save. Boo. Is there multiplayer? Not in this one. This is a single player game, but there are multiplayer backrooms games. Um, the one that I saw was like, oh, Shadow Guy. There's like Escape the Backrooms. Or something like that. And it was a multiplayer backrooms games based on in the, um, the strand of the backrooms that is Kane Pixel. So it's, it's, a Kane, it's a Kane Pixel Backrooms game. And it was called like Escape the Backrooms or Inside the Backrooms or something like that. And there's more coming out all the time. You go on Steam, you'll find a, a few handfuls of Backrooms games. There's actually more Backrooms games. Oh, hey, Slappy. More Backrooms games than there are SCP games on Steam. I think. There are more SCP games overall though, because a lot of them are not on Steam and they're on like Itch.io and stuff like that. Backrooms games are fun. I've enjoyed this a lot. The only problem is it's very, very long. I have 20 hours in this game <laughs> and I haven't beaten it yet. So we're going to speed up the I skip the game timer to 15 minutes. Speaking of which, I wanted to actually have a timer for this. Let me pull up my clock. All right. Got a stopwatch going in 15 minutes. We will skip. What's the Shadow Man? They're multiple of them. They're a type of entity. I think they're actually called Dullers. Lol, LOL, Lamau. Hello, bruh. Windy, wingdings and the rest of your name. How are you today? But anyways, guys like this, they float through the walls. You can slow them down by staring at, your st staring at them with a flashlight. And at the point where I am in the game, they will one hit me if they touch me. So stay away from them. They're very rude and mean. They're also all suggestively shaped, which is concerning. But they are far from the, oh, can't squeeze you there. They are far from the only thing that threatens us. Question mark. I, I don't know. Hmm. It's not good. That's very not good. But there was Slappy, that big old thing of hands that came out of the floor. I like that. There's Blobbert. There's a big old blob of... A big old red blob of faces that wants to eat me. There's the cry guy who just stands there and cries until you get too close to him and then he makes your... He makes your skin melt or something. 
Actually, in the back rooms. Got the horses in the back rooms. And she is a horse. Literally. It's not euphemism. Uh, there's death moths, which swoop down from the ceiling and try and try and eat your head. Um, there's the party goers, who you can sometimes accidentally unleash by opening a box, but normally you'll run into them by by falling into their holes in the floor. Oh wait, I think I found the kitchen. This is some sort of bar, though. It's very comfortable. Oh hey, we're in a cafeteria now. But they operate on, like, Weeping Angel SCP-173 rules. Where, like, they get closer to you faster and faster if you don't look at- if you don't look at them. And then there's Smilers, who will pop up and rapidly drain your brain if you don't meditate them away. And they are terrible because they will ruin my- they've ruined Several. Several of my runs. <laughs> when I see SCP-096, I always want to stare at them. I just want to know what makes them so sad. Like, I want to give them a hug. Oh, yeah. There's also a glitch, like a glitch box that'll forcefully move you to a different level. You go insane, like any bad effects. The, as your sanity gets like below half, you'll start to see like, like shadow pe like shadow figures, not shadow, like the shadow people, not the dullers. You'll see like shadow figures out the side of your, out the side of your eyes. Uh, you'll get like phys weird physics effects. You'll like flip around. Uh, you'll get like random jump scares. There's a lot of stuff that can happen. And if you spend too long at zero sanity, you just straight up die. Ah, here's Blobbert, by the way. That I was talking about the big old blob of uh, faces. Oh yeah, there's also the worms. Those little like landmine things looking on the ground. Step on them, they hurt you. Simple. He looks scary. He is. And he, he, he gets, like, he breathes as he gets close to you. And he'll, like, breathe down your neck as he's chasing you. And if you look at him and he gets too close, your screen starts to shake. These are technically an entity, but they're friends. They're called Faceless. And you can trade, you can like buy and sell things from them. But I, I have a maxed out inventory, I don't need anything. Aw, oh, hell nah. I love Blobbert. He was very scary to me when I first encountered him, but I've got, like I said, 20 hours in this game at this point. I'm very accustomed <laughs> to seeing him. There's a lot of them too. You can get completely bodied because there'll like be multiple of them that will all hit you at once that kid's dangerous true if he hits you he instantly drains your your sanity to zero but you gotta be careful I've also been told that on some of the special levels which are, like, negative and secret, there are different entities that we have not encountered. And I'm looking forward to them. You better relax. Ugh. Get that sanity back. Meditate! See, to survive in the back rooms, you basically have to become a Buddhist monk. And then you'll be fine. Just like me, except I'm not a Buddhist monk, nor am I fine. I've died several times. Hey, Slappy. Give me this. 
there's the glitch guy. He'll send you back, back down a level if you touch him. So don't touch him. What does Slappy do? Hurry see if you touch it. It's pretty basic, but I like him. But all of the entities in this game, as far as I know, maybe like, maybe Cry Guy isn't. But as far as I know, all of the, as far as the rest, uh, eh, as far as I know, the rest of the entities are based on actual, like, SC or a Backrooms creatures. Like, Slappy is a clump, which is like a, a creature that's like a lump of, like, arms and legs that, like, move around. The shadow, the shadow guy is a, called a Duller, which are, like, zombie things. Death moths, death moth. It's a, it's a murder moth. I, I don't know what I don't know what you want. <laughs> I don't know what the I don't know what blobbert's supposed to be. If I'm being honest, I know some entities. Some of them are getting pretty popular at this point. Animation, yeah. Never seen a blobbert. I don't know what it actually is called. I just have nicknamed them all because the game doesn't tell you what they are. You have to basically figure it out or go to the wiki. Because there is a wiki. Oh, I might be actually be able to spawn them. I guess not. Also, shadow people! Better search it up if you want. It doesn't matter much to me what they're actually called. <laughs> I don't think I can spawn them, can I? No. I thought I could. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter. Meow. <laughs> Yeah, looking at the at OBS, the screen does seem still a bit discolored, but it's not as bad as it used to be. So I guess I'll take it for now. Such is the the payoff of a forty dollar capture card. You want cheap, you get cheap. <laughs> I'll try and do some more finagling of it later. See if I can get it all fixed. Oh, hey, arcade games. Those cost books. I will not be engaging. Hello, faceless. There's walking around with a very interesting animation. What the? What does that sound? It sounded like a bird. Why is it dark here? I don't hear a shadow person. Oh. Ah. I seem to have entered the upside down. I guess we're closed. I barely play on computer because I have trash computer. So do I. I'm playing my game on a terrible, like, Intel laptop. Running to a capture card with a computer that has integrated graphics. Like, my computers are garbage. Play my phone. Mostly Roblox. I've never played Roblox. I don't know about this getting dark and getting light type deal. 
I'm getting a little freaked out. Hello? Ah, there's a smiler. See what I said about draining your, your sanity? Sheesh. Hey, we're open. And we're closed. <laughs> now we're open upside down. I like stuff like this. This is the fun bit of the back rooms. With almost all the games you like. I'm sure. Howdy, buddy. Yeet. <laughs> what was that? Oh, wait, it's a box. Give me that almond water. They have some backrooms games, too. Yeah, they have, like, a version of everything. I know that. It's pretty crazy. Sometimes people make fake games. Yeah, you gotta get views. It's all about that clickbait, you know? Always watch likes, yeah. All right. That was our 15 minute timer. We haven't found the way out, so we're skipping to level 31, which seems to be the cyberpunk realm. Also, I'm fast. And my sanity is dead. You saw that little cloud of smoke. That was... The shadow people I was talking about from having low sanity. Stay back! I'm meditating here! Hey, I'm braining here! Let me out of here. Oh my god, you are so fast in this level. So Oh god. This place is eating my sanity. Run! Sanity drained more. It is rapidly draining here. We have we have to move. We cannot stay here. Maybe it was just that area because it's back. It's 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 regular again. I know you. There you are. Weird banana demon. Maybe it has to do with the color of lights, because now I'm in a red light area and my sanity is. Is, is draining at a regular rate again. Ignore that. That's an audio glitch. That happens to me. It's normal. I'm going down this hallway. Ignore the demons following me. I was going to follow these weird red neon lights. Death Moth, duck. Let it fly over. What the? Bro, hello? Do you guys mind? I'm admiring the scenery. Better run. I'm running. Run, Forrest! Run!
Hey, I thought I may be taking health damage from these lights, but it doesn't seem to be. Step under the blue lights again. It's the blue lights. Blue lights are bad. Blue lights are why my sanity is draining. Okay, so it is a light color. <clears throat> blue lights bad for you. Remember this, kids. Uh, on the upside, it makes me go very fast. I'm running this way. Yeehaw! Oh, my sanity, bro. Blue lights in level 31. Sanity drain, yep. Pretty quick, too. Dead end, dead end, dead end. Uh oh. Uh oh, problem. Stay back. Okay, I'm gonna use a book and run! This way! Death Moth! Use another book. Danger level 4. Yeah, this is a very, uh. Oh boy. Unsafe level. What the? Bro, hit the dance floor. Let me out of the blue light zone. Let me out of the blue light zone. Okay, I'm in the white light zone. Still draining. I need to find red lights. Red lighting, please. Blue lights, no. My brain. <sighs> no one better come by. Don't panic, I'm fine. I'm not panicking. I'm not panicking, you're panicking. Oh shit. You're actually duck duck, you can't use meditation to dodge a moth. You can dodge a moth, you can dodge a ball. Be right back. See you in a little bit. I'm going to desperately sprint to see if I can find my way out of here. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Goose fraba. Goose fraba. Hey, hey, coconut. How are you today? My brain is melting. How are you? I'm doing good. Just got done mowing a little bit ago. I'm here to escape the back rooms. Good. That's good to hear. Unfortunately, this place melts your brain. So I have to keep ducking and meditating to keep the demons away. Goose fraba. Goose fraba. Maybe purple lights will be nice to me. Because blue and white lights sure haven't. Demon. I'm running. Purple lights are worse! Oh my god. Getting meditating drops faster, yeah. My sanity is melting so quickly. Ignore the cries of the damned. They're not nothing. They're not real. See, I run from one end of the hall to the other and I have zero, I have zero sanity.
Come on. It... Oh, no! <laughs> it wasn't gone. <laughs> I like, it was flying by and I like stood up into it as I was flying by. <laughs> I'm a dummy. Gotta teleport there. Hey, yellow light's good. It looks like yellow and red lights are okay. But blue and purple and... and white are bad. How many levels left? Two main levels. And then we have some negative and secret levels to explore. <clears throat> the plan is to beat this game today. So I've got a timer for every 15 minutes. I will move to the next level if I haven't already found my way through. Should hear it ring here in a little bit. I have to. We gotta go through the blue light hallway. Back into the yellow light. How many hours will you be streaming until I'm done? <clears throat> this game I am finishing today. I have spent way too long on it. I've returned. Welcome back, Jimmy Doo. Finally, we can actually investigate the dance floor. It wasn't long, trust me. I mean, it, I mean, it wasn't. You're right. Hmm, the purple zone. Don't go that way. It's bad for your health. Imagine the speed running this game without dying. That would be insane. Sanity draining yellow light seems to be safe. So far, I've established that purple, white, and blue are bad. Red and yellow are good. Yellow light, no effects, indeed. I'm gonna figure out what green light does. My sanity is actually dropping very slowly. I'm not taking damage. My battery isn't draining. Green light actually seems to be the safest. I feel like I'm in the, like, the Death Star or something. I feel like, like I'm walking through like a gritty 80s sci-fi action movie. Like I'm breaking into Skynet or something like that. I turned entities back on, didn't I? Yeah. I haven't seen anything in a while. Ah! There's Blobbert. And a smiler is sick. Green light, no effects. What about white light? It's bad for my brain. Very bad. The Terminator, yeah. Or like I'm running through the Nostromo. No, sheesh. I know. Read a book. Twilight sanity drain, yeah. Danger level four, yep. Bob found you. Bob is right on me. So is that demon of whatever variety that was. 
and a shadow person they just ran in a massive circle I need to get out of here I need to get out of here back to the green light run red light green light stay over there blobbert Oh god, there's a ton of them. Ow! Oh! <laughs> I ran right into a duller. Heck! Get in the red light. Red light is good. I think. There's red, yellow, green blue purple white i think that's it oh i haven't seen what's going on in here interesting oh hey glitchman I think red is safe. Looks like red, yellow, and green are safe. Everything else so far has been not safe. Meditation restores sanity and stamina. You just restore stamina if you stop moving. Oh, that is the skip the skip this level timer. So to level 32 we go. Oh boy, it's the locker room. You have to stand still to meditate, which will restore your stamina. Oh my god, he's ruining my sanity. Oh, here comes Blob. Hey, Bob! It's American high school. This is just how I remember. The psycho wall demons and everything. Red light, no effects. Correct. Red light was cool. I would still like to see what a permadeath run would be of this game. I imagine it would take forever. sport do you prefer basketball or football i'm not much of a sports person um but i prefer going to basketball games and band mostly because it wasn't so cold and i didn't have to do field performances so it was basketball Yo, these gotta be some deep lockers with how big this is. Can you imagine how how far in this locker goes? Cause it'd be like right here is halfway through. Excuse me, I was talking about how big these lockers are, if you don't mind, sir. I think he minds. So glad I'm gonna be a junior. You're almost out of there. Congratulations. Death Moth, stay down. We can stand up now. We're good. You're good. You're good. Almost done with school. Yeah. Congratulations. I haven't been in any school in six years. Man, I'm old. years and I'm done too. Man, I'm old! Oh, 
in the heck? Is this supposed to be the shower room? I do feel like I'm in a massive, like, locker room con- I think this is just like a, like a sports locker room. Forever. Are you 24 years old? I'm 29. I'm old. <laughs> what was that? What is that? Stay back! Demon! Ah! The lockers! I'm gonna be 16 years this year. It's your demise. I'm basically dead. The lockers are gone. I think they just wanted to be a little spooky. A little, little bit, uh, a creepy. It's fine. November, I'm gonna be 17. I'm gonna be 30 <laughs> in September. <sighs> Excuse me while I take another drink of soda to ignore that. Demons. Demons, I was taking a drink. He got no chill. Bro. Only 17 my senior year. So was I. Oh my god, law. Long, long, locker. I was 17 when I went into college. Yo, hey! How are you, one though? This fine day. <clears throat> Just got my new earbuds. Pog? Congratulations. I'm gonna get my YouTube channel to one, uh, 1K. I wish you success. Because of laziness, I can relate. Until I swapped to gaming, I lived! Somehow, I'm still alive. But before I switched to doing gaming content mainly again, I uploaded like three times a month. <laughs> Ow! Always post about games. There's an audience for that. Oh no. Huh? Yeah. Oh. 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 Stay back, Shadow Demons. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead, bro. I'm so dead, bro. Ugh. Sure, where I defeated my girlfriend in a game. It was on Roblox, one video gained 500 subs. Don't panic, I'm panicking! Hey, hello, Dark Shadows 06. How are you today? This fine day. I'm definitely not panicking. To make coconuts here, oh my god. I didn't know you could transform. This is my YouTube channel. Very cool. Shadow guy's coming. Shadow guy! <laughs> hey, buddy. None of that now. Transformation complete. You're a shapeshifter. Last video was about the back rooms. Very cool. I don't talk, I just play. I see. There's room for no commentary. Some people enjoy that.
can't record my audio. Ah, that's a shame. Oh God, the lockers are back. Ah! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm gonna call and I'm recording, it doesn't pick up the audio. That's strange. Huh. This was a terrible decision, but I did it anyway. Yeehaw! Ah, fond memories of the high school locker room. Going in there Already being dressed in my sports clothes because I didn't like changing in front of people So I just took off the shirt and had the sports shirt underneath Seeing someone Create a homemade flamethrower with a bottle of body spray or like a can of body spray and a and a lighter Wondering why the showers even exist because no one uses it What is this block? Oh, hey Give me that Excuse me, I was looting if you don't oh my god Squad's all here Now this trick is pretty common Well, the boys have arrived. It's the whole squad. Squad up. <sighs> ah, my brain. Also my body, but mostly my brain. I gotta go. Y'all later, dorks. Yeah. Oh, there's a dead end. Yeah. Run! Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. He's on my tail. Go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go. Stay away from me now. <laughs> Stop breathing on me. I think he's still. I feel like everything's tilted. There's just me, or does everything feel a little? A little lopsided. Oh God, there's, they're right on me. Go away. Did a clip of you panicking. Oh my God. Gonna make me embarrassed. You'll show my failures to the world. Bob a bar of chocolate and he'll leave you alone. That'd be a great idea. <clears throat> but the only consumable items that the that there seems to be in the pack rooms is uh almond milk and sugar. So I don't think Bob will be leaving me alone anytime soon. Surely I'll be able to find the way out of here before the timer hits 15. I've got, I'll be, I'll do it. I'll do it. You watch. Just you watch. Bob just needs friends. <clears throat> Bob's best friend is himself and also himself <clears throat> and himself. Have you found Jerry yet? Nope, but I've been on the lookout. How are you? Just some random user. 
I'm being pursued through the high school locker rooms like it's 2015 all over again. Except I wasn't in high school in 2015. I graduated in 2011. I'm fine. That's good to hear. Beep, there's Bob. <clears throat> the lockers are back! They're gone. They're back! They're gone. They're back! They're gone. They're back! Ah! Stay away from me. There's a shadow guy right next to me and he's being super rude. <clears throat> oh boy. Um, num, 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 num. I need to take a drink, but I gotta keep moving. Nobody gonna make my shred. Nobody gonna slow me down. I'm got to pick up my bam. <clears throat> my singing is flawless. Oh boy! Same enough for a good computer. S uh, eh, same! Those are really expensive though. <gasps> Glitch guy! That's a 15 minute timer. We gotta get out of here. Quick! Level 33! Ooh, he seemed to be in a mall. That was too close. They were right on me. Saved by the bell, literally. They can make games and try to make more videos for my YouTube channel. Sounds great. I wish you success. The glitch guy is coming. The mall? We're in a mall. Fun fact, I've been in one mall in my entire life. Well, technically, too, one of them was called a mall, but it basically, it, it, it wasn't really a mall. Oh, really quiet all of a sudden. What happened to the music? Oh, it's back and it's gone. This mall seems to be very empty. Wait. I think I know what this is. This is the mall that rots the farther you get out, isn't it? I remember this one. You dumb how I can't stream on, on, on my phone. Yeah, that sucks. Go to Germany for vacation this summer. That sounds like a good time. Need at least 1,000 subscribers. That has to be a rule that they started in like, like after 2018. Because in 2018, I was able to stream without, even in 2019, I was streaming without 1,000 subscribers. That has to be a recent change, and that's dumb. My brain! and reach 4,000 hours. You need that for monetization. Ain't no way. Yeah, in 2019. 4,000 hours of watch time within the past year, 1,000 subscribers, and you have to have been accepted into the partner program is for monetization, but you can apply for partner like immediately these brains these days so overrated i know but i like it it's, it's nice and squishy and it feels good in between my toes but you can apply for part like partner like instantly why is this door locked 
I want to go investigate their bookshelves. Well, there's a slappy all the way over there. Reached one of 2k hours with 139 subs. That's really good. Why does some music randomly stop? Is that music or someone running? Okay, I think it's supposed to be music. Cause that was freaking me out, dude. You heard of the man with 90% of his brain missing? That's me! But also, no, I've not. That sounds like a rough life. Something's going to happen. It keeps doing it and it keeps making me very stressed. But nothing ever happens. At 129,000 views, like, God, holy shit. That over doubles my most popular video. <laughs> Jeez, congratulations. It isn't surprisingly. Ah, oh, really? Never trust an empty mall. I've been in a mall, like the, the thing that I said was basically not a mall is because like everything was closed. So I've been in that. Mostly doors on Roblox. It's a horror game you should try. I've never played Roblox. I'm stuck up here. I see an actual sky outside. I wonder if there's actually anything out there. Like in lore or if it's just not reachable. Hello? My brain! I'm not doing anything and I'm spit. I'm okay. Anyway, should definitely try doors. I've never even installed Roblox. I don't know, it just makes me uncomfortable, you know? Earthquake. That was a weird earthquake. Your mental health. Who needs that in 20, uh, 2023? It's only 3G. Wait, my brain isn't even upgraded to 4G yet? Oh, man. The year is 2018. People still haven't adopted 4G. Gigabytes or something. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I'll play Roblox. I already have a lot of things on my I want to stream this game list. Why are all these doors closed? Let me out of here. There's 5G. There is. And people freaked out about it because they're weird. Da -ba -ba. Ba, ba, da, do you. you get voice chat? I definitely don't want that. N -n no way. Why would I want that? <laughs> Where's he? There he is. Hey, buddy. The internet is killing the mall business. True. Talk to strangers. Why? Especially the kind of strangers I'd run into in Roblox that... That, no. Nah, not happening. <laughs> and a worth, not at all. Zero percent worth.
Yeah, the internet has killed a lot of in-person business. Which kind of sucks, if I'm being honest. But it is what it is. Ow! This game has fall damage? What the? Why'd I waste a book? What the fshimbly gonna be the sticks? Fall damage? In my video game? No cussing intended? What your fuck your mouth, kid? Didn't you fall from a building before? Yeah, I did. Forgot the level 11. We jumped off the, the top of a city. No goddamn cussing aloud in this stream. We're very freaking concerned with monetization here. Would you do that? Cause I'm just sad. I'm just so mean. Then fiddlesticks. <laughs> I'm mean and old and grumpy. Don't heckin' swear. This is a Christian Minecraft server. I'll report you to the admin. You'll get banned so fast. That headache and now it's gone. Obviously my yelling cuss words fixed it. You're welcome. What is the point of these escalators? I don't know why your voice calms me down. People say that a lot. I don't I don't know why people like my voice so much, but you know, it, you like it, you like it. You know what this level reminds me of? There's a game I played years ago. And by that I mean like two years ago. Broken Reality. Like a vapor wave. Ah! No! The darkness within my mind. Within my soul. Kind of a nerd if you think about it, but it's like a vaporwave, like uh, adventure game. And it was a lot of fun. I really like that game. I've beat it twice. Technically, the word years still applies. Technically, it has been multiple years. Because I played it at the start of 2020 or 2021, I'm pretty sure. I like playing weird games at the, uh, that no one knows or cares about. You shall not pass. Ow. My eye itches. Ugh. You know what's illegal? Food crimes. I'm Hispanic. Oh. I'm very, I'm very British in my blood. You can tell because my teeth are terrible. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, food crimes. There is a food that I like that only I have ever eaten 
because I am the only person that I've encountered that was insane enough to try it. And it is very illegal. It is vanilla soft serve ice cream with cocktail sauce. What the? Hey, who's summoning Satan? Who up at 2 a.m. summoning Satan? The malicious spirit of capitalism haunts these halls. Bah. Bum 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 bum. Bah, 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 bah. The, the drums remind me of the. Um. They remind me of the knocking sound from off, which is a game I would like to replay at some point. I've never played it on this channel, so maybe I will. Here in Greece, we have chips with pizza flavor. I've had that before. We have a brand called, um, Pringles, and they do flavors like that. Like pizza, like barbecue chicken, stuff like that. I also like to put ketchup in my macaroni and cheese. I mean, normal bags. Do you have salt and vinegar? Because that is the weirdest flavor of chip I've ever encountered. KFC. Wait, they sell pizza pizza chips at KFC? That's the 15 minute timer. And that's the end of the main level list. All right, hmm, interesting. I don't know if there's anything else to this level, but now we get to explore some of these other levels. For the negative levels, we will give them each 10 minutes so that we can get all through all of them before two hours. What the? <clears throat> hey, yo. Welcome to a work in progress Gmod map. Actually, uh, we should probably give them closer to like six minutes each. I can't, what the? Invisible wall? Stability? Stability is going- the world is breaking down! I'm being trapped by invisible walls. What? Welcome! To the- <laughs> to the glitch zone! It is breaking down rapidly. Oh boy. This is fine. This music is a banger though. What the? Get off my face! Imagine doing this legitimately. This game would take forever. I've been skipping levels and I still have 20 hours in this game. <laughs> this game is long. It's also cheap. If you're looking for a cheap game that you can play for a long time, you found the right one. Four days stream. Yep, basically. A barrier in between reality. Is this the dev room in between levels? Y'all watch the black phone? I've never heard of it. Wait, yes, I have. And the answer is no. Because I, I don't really watch movies. Oh boy! Flashing lights! Ah! 
Oh boy, stability 70 is terrible. It's starting to shake. Hey, yo, bros, I don't think this world's looking good. Not going to spoil it, it's kind of creepy. I've heard it's good. The trailers looked kind of cool. I just don't watch movies. We haven't encountered any entity. I think the point of this level that my items are shaking, they are scared. I think the point of this level is to just get through and get out. Invisible wall. Let me through. Let me in. Despite all my rage, I'm still just Alan in a cage. <clears throat> play that last trial. I've watched a couple people play that. I watched a friend of mine play a stream that for a little bit yesterday. Ah! Stop it! Can I see the exit? No, it's just flashing lights and pain. I hate that so badly. God, I hate flashing lights. Yeah, our last trials looks very good. I wish it could, I, I wish it could be played solo player. I'm blinded by the light. Oh, there's now black bars. Awesome. The world truly is melting. That's nothing to me, smile. Well, it does hurt me. It makes my eyes actually hurt. Like now I have a now I actually have a physical ache at the back of my at the back of my eyes watching your streams without lights on. Well, that's good for the mood. That's probably not safe whenever it gets to the flashing bits. But I also have the lights off. We all played the Outlast trials together. That'd be epic. I'm sure you'd all I'm sure you could all have fun. Whoa, hey, what the What was that? I forgot to restore my sanity. Also, I'm out of almond water. This is a problem. Ah, take a break. It's just the flashing lights. I'll be fine. The world is breaking down. We're below 50% stability. Gar, she can't hold much more. What was that thing that sideswiped me anyway? That freaky demon. I like survival games. So do I. My favorite uh, in the, the kind of casual -er side of the survival game genre is Subnautica. Oh no, not again. Uh... Dang, that's the timer. Thank you. Thank God. Get me out of here. Ugh. Huh? I entered the white realm. This is what you see whenever I take a selfie. Blind! Ah! The sour cream. I want to go back to negative one, though. Wait a minute. This is what it is. Oh, level minus one is just a room that you can go anywhere to. 
You just run down the this this hallway with like my music and you can go through a door. They're gonna take that joke in a completely different direction. What, the cum realm? I know this level. Yeah, so it seems to just be a hallway. With the doors to level zero, one, two, and the whiteout. Hmm. I guess it's all to see here. Minus two. Turning on the timer. Because it seems to actually be a thing. Another wooden sewer level. Hey, yo, Pog. They're giving her hate. A lot of hate. Uh-oh. That sounds like a problem. Also, I'm going to give myself an almond water so I can stop hearing the heartbeat sound. Brother always gets her in trouble for no reason. That sounds rough. Yeesh. Here goes stability. Breaking down again. Pretty rapidly too. Someone breathing. I feel like this level is breathing. Weird. Is this what the lungs are like? Oh, great. Run away! Because here comes the shadow guy. Everything is vibrating. I don't think I'll have six minutes to get through here. I don't think this level will last six minutes. Gotta go fast. Make him unshadow. All right, that's it. Unshadows your man. I love little tiny square collars. Yeesh. Where is he? Hmm, he's gone. Get owned, dorks. Oh, what's that? An entire hallway of blobberts. Not dealing with that. No, sir. This feels like a level you go to to die because the st stability has already reached 50 and I haven't seen heads or tails of an exit. It is draining rapidly. This is a uh-oh, you came to the wrong neighborhood type level. It's not even been four entire minutes and I'm almost dead already. This is a problem. Get out of there ASAP. I'm trying. I'm in the bone cave. If only you add almond water. I don't think that would fix the world warping problem. 
I need at least some donkey glue to fix that. Whoa! I've entered the blue realm. Also, the monsters are still following me, so just keep going. Just stabilize it. You got it. <laughs> I just need some big chunks of wood to put on to be to put under the the legs of the of the level. Why is it just a hallway? I don't know. Why is it blue? Oh, hey, I'm back. <gasps> oh my god. Let me out of here. I lived to level 14. Is this that run level? It's a run level. But I lived. So now we're going to the, um, psychedelic pain looking level. Starting timer. Oh boy. Da 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 It is a road, it is a rainbow road It is a road that can go I haven't played Mario Kart in years, man Years Literally Me I'm gonna duck under here Is there a level called Void? Maybe in the secret levels There's the blackout, the whiteout, the electroscape, fun, the end, and the hub no void. This seems to be using like old wiki dot levels. What the? That's a le- I turn my flashlight on and everything gets darker. That's interesting. Welcome to the manageable site. A library at the end. There is. Interesting. That's a cool gimmick. That your flashlight makes it darker. Wow wow. Yippee. <laughs> Welcome to the party world. Lights off. On. Oh, I hate that. I'm executive decision. We're leaving. Executive decision. I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> Ow. Uh. One second. Oof. Ha <sighs> Aliulo, that's me. Aluilo, Yodelaihu. Need to be quiet and not use your flashlight because they can sense light. That's smilers. The um the dullers are slowed down by your light. The shadow people. <sighs> Alrighty. Start the next level. Oh, this is already oh it's it's Killing my, my frames. Welcome to the static forest. Also, there's an upside down forest that kills my frames. If I look up, I have to look down. These outside areas are very painful for my FPS. My little baby laptop can't deal with it. Entities in the level end can't see you. They can only hear you. Are there entities in end? When I read it. 
granted, I read the fandom version, so maybe they're different. But there weren't any ent entities. Not that I remember. Ah, uh, sick, you reversed my controls. What the hell is this thing? What are you? I touched it. It's called physical malware, and now my stability is 67. Ah, jeez. Wrong game. I mean, I don't know. This game has different... It works entities differently. It's like there's supposed to be no entities on the on level six or whatever, the dark level. And yet in this game there were. Wow, stability is breaking down quick. I like the repeating grass texture. Thank you. It's very cool for it. Oh, here we go again. Grabbing some almond water. Ah. Yes, I will be cheating. I'm here to see the end of the game. To at least get a look at it before we go. This tree seems a little brighter. It isn't, but I felt like it was. Touch the tree. Hmm. Hug tree. You know what I bet these trees feel like? You ever placed your head up against a refrigerator while it was running? And you get that like vibration in your head? I bet it's like that, but spread through your entire body. Oh, here we go again. Woo Ow! Don't give up. Trust your instincts! Don't give up, Star Fox! Can you say fire in the hole with a pirate accent? You're firing the hole! Durr. Did that... Was that, did that please ye? Talk like a pirate day isn't for at least another few months. What is that sound? Hello? Who be making that noise? You know the game Geometry Dash? I do, but I've never played! Ow. All right, I think our st I think our stability is about to go bonkers. I don't think we'll be able to get the full six minutes here. Uh, let me out of here. I shouldn't be here yet. Don't look. Spoilers. Huh? It's the same level. I'll start the timer. Rip stability. That was very close. I actually wonder what happens if you reach zero stability. Do you die? I kind of want to find out. Oh, hey! <laughs> Look who it is. Can't touch me. You know, clip into the void? Maybe. I kind of want to find out. Ah, here we go. It is called an insanity. Cry guy is called a boiled death moth, a sentient rift, a demon. Say way blubbered. It's fleshy, I think. The fleshy void? 
Oh my god. Truly is the secret element. A corrupter and a mender and a s the snare is the worm. Oh boy! It's raining men. It's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. Oh my god, they're everywhere. <laughs> <gasps> Get the flashbang. <sighs> You're not taking me alive, coppers. <sighs> Stay away from me. I have the power of a god. Oh no, the lag. Just don't look up. Just don't look up. Ah! <laughs> My baby laptop hates looking up. The level called run for your life or exclamation point. I think I read that one or at least someone wanted me to read it. This level is very comfy, despite the raining down demons. That was too clean. Hmm. Ah, another friend. Hello, other friend. Are you mad that I killed all of your brethren? I may be trained in the ability and the art of slaughtering an entire group of shadow people. I've played many zombie games, and dullers are basically zombies. So, you know. Ah, here they come. They brought an insanity with them. Sick. Look, stability, it's dropping. Oh boy, it's dropping. Just like these guys are. Hey, yo, where are we dropping, boys? Play Fortnite, run! Don't let them catch you. They'll take me to their tilted towers. Their tomato town. I don't even like tomatoes. At least in raw form, I like them in other forms. I like them in soup and I like them in sauce, but I don't like them raw. Stop putting them on my burger. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, hey. The Horde. It really is like a swarm of zombies. I think that might be the way out over there. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna ride this through. Ow, ow! <laughs> Alright, not as clean. Fair enough. Someone walking. Well, that went well. I'm for negative level six. Oh, great. Why does it keep changing? Everything goes dark. I got jumped while I was trying to. Why is this happening? I don't like Fortnite. I don't dislike Fortnite. It's just... I tried Battle Royales and they're not for me. What is going on here? Something following me. I don't like that sound. You couldn't escape. I was too slow. And they got they got got me. I tried playing PUBG back in like 2017 and 2018. And it was alright. 
I managed to kill nobody, but I was second both times. I'm just really good at not dying, but I'm terrible at actually killing people. I believe that Call of Duty mo Mobile passed Warzone. I believe it. Mobile games are way more popular than people online give them credit for. There's- whoa, hey, that wall just straight up disappeared. I don't think this level can figure out what it wants to be. I think that's the problem. But like, people online always give, like, mobile games, like, such crap, and they don't... They don't, um... They don't consider it, like, a real thing. Or, like, something that people actually do. But those games are very popular. And a lot of time and money goes into them. <sighs> One second. Got it. Just my seat. <sighs> Alrighty. Continuing to walk through this level, although I don't think there's a whole lot to it. I think we've basically got the gimmick for this one. One hour later. That sounds like a demon. I'm sure that's fine. Thing is, we've heard that scream before and it didn't do anything! I'll be back. See you in a minute. I'll be back. YouTube has the weirdest emojis. True. I have BTTV and all that enabled for- whoa. For the chat, but I don't know if it actually shows up for you guys. Like, what is that? That's a poop emoji. I might need to go into, like, BTTV and actually set up the emotes for use. So we can get our Keck W's and our Omega Lols and our, our Pogfish and all that. Get some real good emotes in this house. Alright. I think we've seen the, the gimmick of this level. There's nothing really to it. Skipping. Starting the timer. This one looks more promising. I'm actually going to reset the timer because it seems to have a large loading screen. Wish I had my money on my phone right now. So do I. I wish I had money. What the? We're in a sad city. It sounds like it's crying. What the? Ah, yes. Just a normal building. Man, now I want to play Cry of Fear again. Beating that game four times on stream. Or three times on stream. Four times if you consider the... An old video series I did in, 20, in 2018. But... I want to play it again. I love that game. The city and the music makes me think of it. Ugh. Maybe I'll play hard mode. I haven't beaten, like, Nightmare yet. Maybe I'll do that. Or maybe I'll actually go and play the 300 games that I have on Steam set up in my stream this category. Maybe I'll go play Zelda again. <laughs> Seed Zero One of the Majora's Mask <laughs> Randomizer. Let's go! I love Majora's Mask. I'll play it again. You can't stop me. 
the slab. You start to feel uneasy. Ah, a terrifying presence has entered the room. Everything shakes. Your vision becomes blurry. You can barely hold on. But you persevere. Oh my god, it's the gray, uh, it's the graberhood. Surprised there's no entities here. But it's very somber music. Too bad the world's going to end in like just a few moments. You know what? Let's ride the stability out. See what happens when it reaches zero. Let's do some science. That building entirely made of glass? Sheesh. Run as fast and as far as you can! RUN! You're panicking, you can't stop the madness. Keep it together! Hold on! Read a book! I guess that's what happens. It just sends you back to the top. Neat. Well, level minus eight. Whoa. Spooky. Oh great, this is a constantly changing maze with the whales of the damned in the background. The screams of the damned whales. I hear a demon. Where is it? Death Moth! Now we know what it does. Yep. I was expecting it to kill us, but it didn't. That it just made a creepy sound. Or rather, it dropped us into the... Into floor zero again. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Later. Stop. Die! Who's da? Knock, knock. Who dead? New door, who dis? What does that sound? I'm going this way, I guess. I don't want to go this way. There's something over there. There is definitely something on the other side of this. What the? Touch it. Ow! It ain't my stability! Ooh, spooky music. I like it. Joke's on you. I have a pair of scissors. Touch it. Data recovery. Okay, so the... 
the white cube that plays present pleasant music will restore your stability and the black one that plays creepy distorted music will eat your stability and here I am walking through the walls of these halls yippee Feels good to have superpowers, don't it? Aw, oh, my ability to walk through walls is worn off. You're really just slamming that door in my face, huh? Shut up, worm! Death Moth thought he could get me. That Death Moth tried! Oh, hey. All right, I think we get the gimmick of this level as well. You know what? We're going to stop doing the timer. And basically, I'm just going to go, uh, we'll go when I think we've got a good idea of what the level's about. Minus level nine. Hey, are we in the pool rooms? Hey, are we going swimming? Splish splash, I was taking a bath. This is the infinite bathhouse. This pillar is different. Investigate. Oh, hey. It's a stability demon. It's here to eat my ability. Do not go insane. Not that I need that ability. What the? The water's gone. And I stole all of the water. Slurped it right up. Stay away, demon. The water came back. Interesting. So the lights change color and the water level changes. And there are so many of these guys. Sheesh. Something isn't right. Nah, this seems normal. Hello, hello, SCP Dr. Heartburn. Welcome to... A regular Greek bathhouse. You feel something near you. It comes closer. The water level is now way too high. If only Dr. Heartburn was here yesterday. Maybe then we could have figured out what was wrong with me. I'm taking a drink. There was Diet Coke. What happened yesterday? We talked about how I... About how, um... Tums give me heartburn, and everything gives me heartburn. Except for, for Modadine. It's, it's, it's... Don't worry about it. How are you today? The light changed and the water level didn't change. This is concerning to me. All right, so the lights change and then the water level changes. Let's see what level 10 is. Oh boy. This is the pattern from level zero, just monochromatic. Doing good, how about yourself? I'm having a good day as well. And I'm glad you're doing well. Everything is red, now it's all gray. Also, it's ate all my items. Give that back. <laughs> Good to hear. Yeah. I'm beating this game today no matter what, so, uh, I'm speeding through the levels. The room was hungry. It ate all my water. How rude. Oh, there was a stability killer. 
What the? Oh, baby. Flashing lights warning, but I'm going to shut up. Stay away from me. I'm listening to the cool music, pretending like I'm in Bad Apple or something. Can't beat what can't be beaten. Well, if you see every level, you've basically beaten the game. And the game is done being updated, so it's like this is its final state. Is what I've been told anyway. Da -da -dum. Ah. Yo, this level is sick! It's very laggy, but I love it. While we're walking, I'm going to see if I can get rid of the piss filter a little bit more. I'm going to be quiet while I try and work this out. The music is a banger though. Oh my God. Oh my God. This level is sick. This is the final room, right? This is the final in the negative rooms, and then we have the special rooms to go to. But yo! The back rooms is a party house! No, stay away. I'm busy here. Stay back. Why does the end of the world have such a banging soundtrack, bro? No, you better stay away from me. I want as much stability as possible. I want to keep going. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's breaking down. It's actually breaking down. Level 404, more lost than ever before. It stumbled into yet another level. Who's playing Tetris? However, it did not feel lost. It knew it had found what it had been looking for. Not an ending, but an edge. Not a place, but a space. Not a home, but where it belongs. Whether or not it thinks its journey has ended, it should know there was never an end. Such concepts of reaching destinations are not permitted here. It does not need them.
It may be done by filling arbitrary bars on a screen, running from mottled creatures and wandering barren halls built with virtual geometry. But it was never truly looking for an end, was it? I kind of was. It still know it knows it will still have to investigate, navigate dangerous landscapes, and avoid terrible beasts. I'm very good at reading. Don't worry about it. It knows it will continue to experience repetitive scenes of, oftentimes, endure unfair setbacks. But it also knows that no matter how long it wanders, there will be more to find. It knows there is beauty in the mundane, and it is able to see that beauty. It knows it can give meaning to a world starved of all meaning. It knows it is never alone. Hopefully, it will continue to find value in pressing forward, even after it crosses this threshold. If it has come this far, it can go much, much further. Further than what can be expressed here. At the very least, as it has always been, it is ready. It is ready. Enter the back rooms and experience made by Justin Crow. Thank you for playing. Thank you. Yippee! I got here legitimately. Yay. <laughs> Is this the cheater ending? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe there's a different way to actually end the game if you do the actual, like, regular. What? The audio die. If you, if you get through the actual, like, version. Like, the regular game. But we're not done yet. That was very cool. But we still have some other regular, le like, weird levels to investigate. Like, the Electroscape. Kind of XK class world event ending was that. We came to the- we came to accept that we were lost forever in the back rooms and that we were just an explorer. I'm gonna sit in this chair. I sat in the chair. Welcome to the Electroscape. The realm of outlets. You can never escape. There is no escape. Recall an intervention do not work in this place. There is no escape. There are demons, though. Love to see it. Love to see it. Well, that was a really fun way to end the game, if I'm being honest. A music video, basically. With an out with a with an epilogue, very cool. I do really like this game. It just is so long. I do not have that type of time, but I will highly recommend it. If you do have that type of time, I highly recommend it. One rule, don't die. Even then, that's the correct answer. Let's see what the whiteout was about. We popped in here earlier. Oh, yeah. We've already seen what the whiteout was about, haven't we? Sugar, is it used for stamina? You eat sugar, it'll instantly refill your entire stamina bar. Go to the blackout.
Hmm, the floor seems to be breaking down. Almond water will heal you a bit. Book will fully replenish your stamina. Sugar will fully replenish your... Uh, oh no, book will fu fully replenish your sanity, not stamina. Sugar will replenish your stamina. And a battery will refill your flashlight. And also, I think we hit the infinite loading bug. Sick. Give it a few more seconds. Yeah, I think it broke. Resetting the game. One moment, please. Alrighty, loading up. There we go. Uh... Uh... We got like a like three minutes until the end of until the the end of this recording session, the stream session, I guess, because this is the end of the game. So let's go lightning round these last few levels, shall we? I want to see what they look like. We won't do a lot of exploring. We'll just go in, see what they're like, and move on. Turn off entities. Don't need those anymore. Ignore the fact that there's an entity currently running at me. Saturation seems too low now. I don't know. I don't think I'll ever be able to fix this problem. Let's go back to the blackout. Ah. Yeah, that's about what I expected, huh? Sacred Lantern doesn't do a whole lot, does it? But it plus the flashlight does pretty good. It's like a dark, rusty realm. Interesting. You can see a lot more when you meditate. No batteries, none at all. We've been to level fun. Let's see the end. Yep, the end is the library. I like how from certain angles you can't tell that there is actually shelves on this thing and it just looks like the back of a... <clears throat> of another bookshelf. Batteries. I made batteries. I spawned them out of thin air. <clears throat> I'm a battery wizard. <clears throat> Sorry, I suddenly have a bunch of stuff in my throat. The end is near. Is this what you wanted? Something to tell you it was over? Maybe. Something to tell you when to stop? Something to tell you to move on? What a hopeless conclusion that would be. Why did you come here? To get what you desire? To find something hidden? To know where this world dies? What a hopeless conclusion that would be. What will you do now? Will you let this be a barrier? Will you assume that there is nothing left for you? Will you abandon this experience? What a hopeless conclusion that would be. 
Do not let this place deceive you. It does not exist as you see it. True freedom lies elsewhere. I see. Thank you, narrator. This game seems fun. I would totally sink a ton of get time into this game. I mean, honestly, same. I have had a lot of fun playing this. If I if if I wanted to play this and I wasn't streaming, I would spend way more time on this game. You have a feeling to not trust the voices. <laughs> There's also a good chance because level 404 is not in this list anywhere that there are levels that you cannot access via sandbox. There's a good chance that there are levels that you have to find in game regardless of tra of sandbox. Like, wait a minute. The forest. Wasn't there the white forest? We'll look at the hub real quick, but I know what this is. This is like, yeah, this is the center of a main playthrough. You unlock keys on levels in like the regular game and you take them here. And this allows you to teleport from level to level. Level 33, Zenith. Zenith? Hey there. Can you hear me? No. Yeah. Hello. My name is Justin Crow. I'm the person who created this game. Nice to meet you. If you've made it here, then you've dedicated a lot of time to my game. I'm very grateful for that. About 20 hours. Thank you for the time. I think it's fascinating you came this far. This game is weird because wandering around rooms for hours on end sounds like a big waste of time. Despite that, you came all the way here, which can... Sorry for shutting you up. <laughs> I was meditating. While I was developing Enter the Backrooms, there would be moments where I felt I should be doing something else. I often got frustrated that I didn't know all the techniques to make the game run well without a game engine. Other times I caught myself thinking no one would want to play my game, even though I had people in my life telling me otherwise. Eventually, what I realized is that nothing is a waste of time unless I say it is. In other words, I'm the one who gets to decide what things are valuable in my life. No one else can decide that for me. So that's why I've spent over two years making this crazy game. The game of my dreams. A game no one else could make. A game about wandering around rooms for hours on end. Since the beginning, the goal behind developing Enter the Backrooms was simple. To make my own video game. I made this game because I couldn't find another game like it and because I wanted to improve my skills in game development. However, sometimes I lost sight of that goal and instead became obsessed with things I can't easily control. It's easy for me to worry about content creators playing my game, how much money I'm earning from it, or what the reviews are saying about it. That's an unhealthy mindset because the value I place on this game isn't determined by the actions of others, it's determined by me. I worked on Enter the Backrooms because I saw value in working on it, not because others saw or didn't see that same value. Speaking of others, I've heard a lot of criticism from different people about the Backrooms and about specific interpretations of it. Most debates are about what belongs in the world of the Backrooms. Everything! I don't think those debates are useful though. The backrooms are valuable to different people for different reasons. It's up to every individual person to decide what they think the backrooms should be like, as I did while developing this game. 
I had to decide what belongs in my interpretation of the backrooms and what doesn't, including the narration I'm doing right now. Something that disappoints me, though, is that I'm not able to add everything I want to this game because of my limits as a developer. I'm not the best at modeling, I didn't use a proper game engine, I can't make an advanced system for entity movement. I could go on and on with the challenges I faced because of my limits. But pushing those limits is something I've found valuable. I may not be an expert game developer, but I'm much better off than I was when I started. I love Enter the Backrooms, not just because it's my game. I love it because I found working on it to be extremely valuable in my life. I encourage you to think hard about what you have in life and what you find valuable. You are the only one fit to decide what belongs and what doesn't. And I am honored you think my game belongs in your life. That will be all from me. Thank you so much for playing my game. As I love to say at the end of my videos on YouTube, Goodbye, recruits. Goodbye. Oh, man. Based. To quote Mob Psycho 100, your life is your own. <laughs> this man some claps Cl yes applaud this game was very good if I wasn't trying to play 300 other games I would I would have given this more time is this the end basically I mean we can go and try and find that white forest again <laughs> but other than that I'm pretty sure we've seen not everything that this game has to offer, obviously, because there's a bunch of stuff that you cannot get. W. This game is a W. Majorly so. Big, big preach. Yeah, like, I get that. I recently went back to doing gaming as main content on my YouTube channel, despite, you know, basically no one caring <laughs> relative to how many people watched my watched my videos before. Basically, no one cares. But it doesn't matter. Because I am way more satisfied and way happier with my channel than I have been in years. And it doesn't matter if people watch it. Yippee! <laughs> My kneecaps! Also, kneecaps are for nerds. And no nerds are allowed in this stream. Hey, hello. Welcome back, Coconut. We're finishing up here. We're seeing if we can find the... the white forest again that had to hurt I'm sure it's fine he's speed zoom speed racer yes I would like to restate that if you want to support this game or get it for yourself and see if there if you can find stuff that I haven't because I know for a fact that there's more. There is a link to the Steam page in the description. And that will always be the case if... If it is available on PC... Ah! If it is available on PC, I will link to it in the description always. Here we go. Oh, never mind. This just takes us to ne negative five. Well, I suppose that is the end. I thought there was that white forest, or maybe I just hallucinated.
that's fine. Uh, and that will conclude my playthrough of Enter the Backrooms, release version V. My favorite number. 20 hours. I don't know if this actual, like, series has 20 hours. But I have 20 hours in the game. I think this in that includes my... The two streams I did for this uh, two years ago. Think of a frozen forest. Think of a lot of ice trees and maybe some elm wood. I mean, it basically looked like negative... Like the, the towers. They looked like that except in a forest. Favorite SCP is 096. That's a good one. Man. But yeah. Strongly, strongly uh, thumbs up. Good game. Play it. Or buy it. If you have money. And you want to support the creator. I am going to go eat supper. Do you have VR? I do not. VR just isn't my, it's not my thing. I'll try to buy. If you have, if you have extra money and you want to support them. Um, I'm going to go eat. Then probably go do my laundry. And I'll try to be back tomorrow. Don't know what I'll stream. Maybe it'll be Zelda, but I'll figure it out. But until then, I'll see y'all later.